Hey everyone, my name is Dr. Mark Boyd. I'm a board certified obstetrician gynecologist. I've been in practice about 25 years. And the question of how do I determine if I'm ovulating is a very pertinent question for women, especially if they're trying to get pregnant. Now, I'm going to talk about the clinical and the urine ovulation predictor kit today. But if you look below, there's a guide that you can download this link for how this will help you specifically and individually. Now, every woman can buy an ovulation predictor kit. What it does is it takes your first morning urine and based on the hormones in your urine, will start changing color, very similar to a urine pregnancy test. And around the time of ovulation, it will turn a specific color indicating to you that you're potentially ovulating. Now, the problem with them is they're expensive and many women don't want to, to uh, have that expense. So let's talk about the clinical ways to know if you're ovulating. Now, you have to determine the length of your cycle. We're gonna use a 28 day cycle today just for informational purposes. Again, my guide and my link below will help you try to establish if you're ovulating. So the definition of a, of a menstrual cycle, you have to count from day one. Now what is day one? That's the day that you see any blood, whether it's a spot or whether it's a heavy flow. Count forward X amount of days. Again, in this example, we're gonna, we're gonna use a 28 day cycle. When you complete your process and start the next bleed, that is one cycle. So again, day one, first day of spotting. Next cycle, first day of spotting. That period is 28 days in our example. Now, many women know that potentially you ovulate on day eight and they start the process from the front end. I'm gonna encourage you to start the process from the back end. So if you have a 28 day cycle, subtract 14 days. That would mean that this, again, a bell-shaped curve that you're gonna ovulate on the front side of that or on the back side of that. So you need to subtract seven days from 14 and add seven days to 14. So that mean you're, means your ovulatory cycle is from day seven to day 21. Now, you say to your husband, husband, we're gonna get together, we're gonna have intercourse on a, every 48 hour schedule from day seven to day 21. And if you do that moving forward, you will markedly increase your chances for getting pregnant. Now, the literature says that if you do this, you get pregnant in three to six months, however, We've had many pregnancies through the years where you've gotten pregnant the first month. So plan on that or pre be prepared for that. And if you don't get pregnant in the three to six month window, that doesn't necessarily mean you have to be, be concerned. The literature is very cl clear that you're not defined as infertile or subfertile until you do this process for 12 months. So again, be prepared day one, that it could be the first month but also be prepared that it can take you up to 12 months to get pregnant. However, if you follow this schedule, download my guide, you're gonna markedly increase your chances for getting pregnant in a quicker fashion, which most women like. Hope this was helpful today. Have a great day.